Before the opening, Bell U.S. indices closing lower on Monday ahead of the Fed policy meeting. Now shares in food and staples retailing, telecommunication services and consumer services sectors under pressure. While on the economic front, the NAHB housing market index rising to 65 in September, while advancers ahead, again ahead of decliners as 37% of S&P 500 constituents traded lower yesterday. Now turning to after the markets closed, Kellogg announcing a voluntary recall of approximately 10,000 cases of Kellogg's Ego Nutrigrain whole wheat waffles because of a potential to be contaminated with listeria. Also, Norwegian Cruise Line said Andy Stewart will be appointed as CEO, effective immediately. Turning overseas now, Asian markets under pressure this morning. The Nikkei down 0.16%, the Hang Seng also down 0.08%. China CSI 300 in the red 0.18% and South Korea's Kospi up just under half a percent. European markets are trading higher except for the Italian FTSE MIB and U.S. futures calling for a bullish open. Now in terms of expectations today, Adobe Systems third quarter EPS seen at 72 cents on sales of approximately $1.4 billion. Also, FedEx first quarter EPS seen at $2.79 on sales of approximately $14.4 billion. And Lenar third quarter EPS seen at $0.90 cents on sales of approximately $2.7 billion. On today's economic dock at 8.30 in the morning has August housing starts figures as well as building permits while turning over to the markets the S&P 500 sees a limited upside. Now the relative strength index lacking downward momentum so long positions above 2108 are favored with targets at 2155 and 2169 in extension. Moving on the Nasdaq sees the bias remain bullish preferring long positions above 4768 and the Dow Jones seeing limited upside preferring long positions above 17,900.